What's going on YouTube? Happy Sunday everybody, it's Vikings95 here and people have been asking for a little PC update. Uh, PC meaning personal collection. This is just a tiny, tiny part of my Iowa State collection that I have. You guys know that I am an Iowa State collector, so I collect Alan Lazard, number five in the back there. Uh, Alan Lazard, Hakeem Butler, David Montgomery, and Kene Wangu specifically. And so... This is the easiest one for me to showcase because I have the least of him. Uh, I probably have the most Hakeem Butler and then second with Alan Lazard and then David Montgomery and then Kene Wangu. And so Kene is the newest Iowa Stater. He's also a Minnesota Viking, so it's even better for me because of course I am a Vikings fan. And so this is what I've picked up so far this year, um, excluding some duplicates and possibly some cards that I may have just misplaced. I have a lot of cards on the desk around me. Um, you guys just can't see it, thankfully. Um, so with that, let's uh, let's get into the Kene Wangu PC. So uh, I tried to do it like favorite to least favorite, kind or no, least favorite to favorite um, based on Iowa State uniform and then based on pro uniform. Because I know some people like college unis. Personally, I do because I'm a college collector. And then I know some like pro uniforms. So, um, you know, I, t I took the two favorite cards of each and put them here. This one is my Kne Wangu Gold Standard. I think it's like, what, like an opulence or something like that? Uh, but it's a one of one. It is a Gold Standard one of one, and I love these blackout uniforms. I think they look so cool. Love watching them, playing them. And so this is the uh, the Platinum one of one. Looks sweet from Gold Standard. And then, of course, I've showed this card multiple times. It is my Silver Bar Kene Wangu Auto out of 19. So this one is just really, really cool. It's unique. Uh, you got one troy ounce of silver in there. So worst comes to worst, you got a troy ounce of silver, I guess. But I'll throw that one in the back there. So starting on the college uniform side, let's see, there we go. We have two of the Sage Rookie Autos, of course, no college logos, but uh, this was the first product that came out for them, so those are kind of cool. Two of these Sage Rookie Autos. Then next up we have the Prestige. Maybe I shouldn't grab as many as I did. The Prestige cards. We've got the base and then a couple of the parallels that look really cool. Uh, this one's number 99. And uh, an auto. The red auto. Red Rookie Auto from Extra Points from Prestige. So... I haven't been chasing rainbows as much this year. I know from the past I used to do that a lot. Uh, it's really expensive to do that now. <laughs> um, three years ago, two or three years ago, it was definitely a lot cheaper to go rainbow hunting uh, for some of the guys. Nowadays, not so cheap. And so I've been a lot pickier with what I'm picking up. Uh, so yeah, that is the reason for that. So then we have the uh, turn of the century from Donner's Elite. Both of those, one of them out of 199, one out of 99. Again, Iowa State uniforms, gotta love that, if you're me. And then we have the gold standard. So the gold standard cards are half Iowa State, half Vikings, depends on the card. So here's out of 49, out of 10, just the base rookie cards that are numbered. I guess I don't even, yeah, I guess they're slightly different colors there, so like purple and I don't know if that's supposed to be like granite or something, but white. And then uh, we have a jersey card out of 299, the Vikings uniform. Another Iowa State uniform out of 199 with the auto. And then two RPAs, one of them being a chunky patch, two color out of 49, and this one being out of 149. So didn't go too crazy with those either, but... Uh, I don't know, I enjoy them. I like Gold Standard, and I have been chasing this rainbow slowly. I don't think there's very many cards to it, uh, but of course I got the 101 here, and then this one is out of 39. And I believe these are case hits for Gold Standard. So uh, they're kind of hard kind of hard to find. They're tough. But uh, there is that. Then we come to the Elements, and of course Elements is made out of metal, and I love that. It's a really cool set. Um, we've got the gold, plutonium, xenon, and neon, all out of different numbers. So gold out of 99, plutonium out of 94, xenon out of 54, and the neon out of 10. Really cool looking cards. Of course, they're super heavy compared to normal cards, which I like. I did not peel off the protective cover 
Um, someday, hopefully, I'll have, you know, like a man cave or something. Not when I'm in an apartment complex that I'll have enough room to showcase a lot of my cards. But right now, I am keeping that cover on. And then we have the gold on-card auto. I've been meaning to pick up more of these. This one's out of 79, but uh, really cool auto. I like it. I like Elements a lot. I think it's a great idea. I mean, it's just unique, right? And you guys know I like unique stuff. And then it comes to the National Treasure. We have out of 75 and out of 10 for the rookie autos from National Treasure. Beautiful looking cards. It's the collegiate. So we have the Iowa State uniform and a flawless one out of 25. Well, flawless collegiate. Uh, with the Iowa State logo right there, team logo signatures. Beautiful, beautiful card. I really like that one. So that kind of concludes the uh, the Iowa State side of it. And of course, again, this is my smallest PC guy that I have at the moment. Um, and I've just been pickier, like I said, of picking up what I get. Uh, so here we have the pro uniform stuff. So I'll cut this stack in half. I think that made sense, yeah. All right, Pro Uni, we have Phoenix on top. I just have not picked any of his Phoenix stuff up. I've been meaning to pick up an auto or something. Some of those laser autos look sweet. Um, we have a kickoff playoff parallel, along with the playoff jersey card that I pulled out of a playoff blaster box. That was kind of fun, Rookie Stallions. We have Gridiron Gear from Playbook. My only Playbook card besides these case hits right behind it uh, with the jersey. We have the two in motion case hits, really nice looking cards there. Of course, I'm not the biggest playbook fan, but uh, I got one and then I found one that I was like, I got for eBay card of the week. And so I ended up with two. So that's the reasoning behind that. Um, then illusions do not have too many of that rainbow, have not been chasing it very hard or really at all. Uh, we have the first impressions RPA out of 99 from illusions. Cool two color patch. I think I got a pretty decent deal on this one. Uh, XR with the triple jersey auto out of 25. Gotta like that. Another one that I think I, like, I sometimes just can't help it. I sometimes buy stuff. I'm not chasing the rainbows, but I just buy it because I can get like a pretty decent deal and be like, you know what? Why not add another auto to the collection? Sometimes I just kind of feel like it and I probably shouldn't, but I do. So there's the XR Auto RPA. Here is an Origins on-card auto. I do really like Origins. I've been meaning to pick up more of these, but I just haven't yet. Um, maybe his price will go down. We'll see. But he's not even an expensive guy, but it seems like some of the... I always lose last second on bids. So cool on-card auto. I like Origins. I really like the, the artwork and design behind it. Certified, I went really hard on for uh, Hakeem Butler. I have a bunch of them. Like, I almost have a rainbow for Hakeem Butler. I gotta be close. But I did not pick up a ton for Kane Wangu. Uh, the rainbows nowadays are just too many cards, realistically. Like, first off the line has a ton of parallels, and then you get the other stuff, and it's just crazy. So I have two of them. Nice jerseys, or uh, nice patches, I should say. Out of 249, out of 299. But uh, didn't go crazy with that this year. And then the back half of that pile, we have the Pen Pals. And of course, I have the purple, the blue, and the gold. And I don't have the, like, easiest one to get, the black auto uh, or the black ink. So I'll still be getting that one soon. Uh, but I like the Pen Pals. I always thought they were cool. I've got a lot of them for Hakeem Butler, David Montgomery, uh, and Alan Lazard did not have them. And then we come to Donruss. We've got the The Rookies Parallel. We have some rated rookies, the rookie portraits, the red, the out of 75, and of course I have the one of one die cut. I got the one of one die cut, pretty decent deal off of eBay, not, I mean, I guess it was a couple months ago now. And uh, yeah, looks really cool. Just haven't chased, again, haven't been chasing the rainbow as, uh, as much as previous years. So that is why you've seen a lot less mail days, just a lot less chasing. The second half, I'm excited for this stack because we're getting to my some of my favorite brands that I've picked up. But of course, they generally get a little bit pricier. So we have the out of 99 Panini Black, out of 75 Panini Black. I guess probably should have flipped those. Here's the base out of 75. 
And then the auto out of 99, nice rookie auto. It is a sticker. We have the white ink. The white Sharpie looks sweet. RPA out of 99 again. And then another Sharpie out of 99. Huge sizable jersey card right there with the auto. So I like Panini Black. I think they uh, these cards look really cool. I like the different colored ink as well. So here's a limited out of 299 rookie jersey auto. Nothing super crazy. I don't I like limited. I don't love it though. So I haven't been chasing limited super hard. But these next ones I really need to uh start finding a little bit more of. Okay, not not these. Mosaic, I'm holding off on because there's so many parallels. So we have the base card. And then we have the Genesis and the Peacock, because you you guys know I like my case hits, and of course these cards just look amazing. So I have not picked up the Honeycomb yet. I am probably going to eventually, but uh, that's probably the only other one that I would really shoot for, I think, unless I could get a crazy deal on like a, you know, loan number or something. Um, maybe a silver I'll get eventually, but uh, these two, I mean, the Peacock for sure, you guys know. If you watch eBay Card of the Week, I've been finding deals around that uh, as often as I can. Genesis cards look really cool as well. So we have those two. And then we come down to the last two cards. We have the Immaculate Jersey Eye Black, Eye Black Jersey Auto out of 99. And I think Immaculate might be one of my favorite card brands uh, off the really high end kind of list. You got Immaculate, Impeccable, Flawless, National Treasure. So we have that, and we have the Impeccable RPA out of 75 that kind of looks and goes with the uh, the silver bar. So that is the Kane Wangu PC. It is uh, not exactly as crazy as the Hakeem Butler, the Al Lazard, or uh, it's probably kind of similar to David Montgomery, but... Uh, it's getting there. It's getting there slowly but surely. Every so often I'm picking stuff up. And of course, I did take out a lot of the duplicates to kind of take time off the video. Uh, so I have a bunch of duplicate uh, base rookie cards. I think I might have missed a jersey card or something here or there. But uh, overall, that is the uh, that is the Kane Wangu PC. And I got to say, this one is still one of my favorites. That is just such a cool looking card with the silver bar in there. And it's also extremely thick. So uh, let me know in the comments what you think. If you think I'm doing it wrong with, uh, I guess there really is no right or wrong way. Um, I'm just not chasing the rainbows as much as I used to. But uh, I guess let me know in the comments who you collect. If you've got any crazy collections, uh, what else you'd like to see. I'm always up for, uh, you know, feedback, criticism, whatever it may be. Uh, a lot of people have been asking for a PC video, so this is the first that I've done in, in quite a few months, and so hopefully I'll be doing more of these. I'll grab the Hakeem Butler collection, ever, I mean, in probably a couple weeks or so. Uh, there are, I don't know, 10 times the amount of cards. It's crazy. Hakeem Butler collection is going to take an hour plus to go through if we do it card by card, so maybe I'll just grab all the one-on-ones I have. I probably have 20 to 30 uh, Hakeem Butler 101. So with that, I hope everyone had a great weekend. Have a great, great upcoming week. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you later.